All right. Hey, y'all. Greetings, Hotep. Baba bless up. Welcome, Black, to the recovery room of Racism Not Anonymous with me, Sis Abba Na, the recovering African who is enslaved in America, and who is a representative from the voices in the margins. Um, yep, true to the cause, African liberation via unification and utilizing the tool of healthy and effective communications. You may know a little bit of a distress or tension in my voice and in the image that you see because my physical body is under a bit of distress as I am needing to hold the camera out as I speak. And as an exercise to strengthen the biceps, holding the arms out in that way um, for, you know, some extended period of time can become discomforting, especially depending on your level of physical health and strength. And so I'm needing to constantly switch uh, hands and uh, rest the one and so forth. So that's that. Um, also, as you see, I'm out in the recovery garden uh, this uh, afternoon on this Sunday uh, Labor Day weekend in America, Kaka, on the planet Earth. Here in the recovery zone, in the recovery room, behind the black cross of racism, representing racism non-anonymous that revolutionary 12-step program, 12-step self-help program that has been uniquely designed with the African in mind. Now I'm beginning to be conscious and, and conscientious about uh, my looks, physically uh, my look and um, the, the um, exposure of self that I am presenting right now and becoming aware of my physical uh, state and status. One of those things being my little missing tooth over here, and so to hold the camera and look on this side and smile and talk means that my gap is exposed and it's like uh, kind of conscientious, self-conscious, aware of self. All aspects of myself at any given time, and you know, most given times, that's my challenge, my charge to self, to know self. Um, and so, like I said, this is uh, Labor Day weekend that uh, people are celebrating, and I am where I usually am, which is in my recovery zone and my safe space here. And I'm working always to repair and restore me uh, to health and uh, productivity. And you know, so let me say this is a, just an episode in Abena's world. I don't have a prescribed uh, topic for teaching to sound, you know, dazzling or something. I don't know. Um, yet, you know, I don't have a, a organized and orchestrated uh, dialogue prepared to share with you. I kind of come gut, uh, honest, real, in the moment always and work to, you know, sort of live and be in the moment. And in this particular moment in time, whoo, this is what's coming up uh, and out of me as I am working to share with thee. Um, okay, so where are we <laughs> in this, uh, you know, dialogue or episode? Ooh, the breeze is nice, um, a lot of work. If you have checked some of the previous videos or some of the videos to follow, which uh, it gives an account of my uh, garden project and the progress and updates, then uh, you will, you know, kind of have an appreciation for that. And why I'm out in the recovery garden on this Labor Day, um, laboring to save the things that I have worked to produce, and I've worked to produce those things to benefit self. And that's a very revolutionary act in this system and on the planet at this particular time, you know, 2011, because 
for me, Mama Earth, women of a woman of African descent, this story uh, demands and mandates that whatever I produce, it is for the benefit of someone else other than myself, and that is something that I am working to actively counter by producing uh, produce uh, to benefit self. And so the labor or work that I engage in during this uh, Labor Day weekend uh, is appropriate to uh, think about how I am going to benefit from it and doing and, and, and being actively involved in this labor because it is for my benefit. And, um, you know, so that's, uh, I don't know, just sort of what came out. I wanted to do something today. I kind of had the camera available and, you know, my energy is like saying, yeah, I want a video. I want to talk to people. I want to share myself, you know. Um, now, but what am I going to talk about? Oh, there's always, always, always so very many things to talk about. And it's always like, oh, good Lord, where do I start? Because I see this going on there, I hear this happening over there, I see you witness that, I feel that, and it's like, oh, where do I start? To uh, where does this shit begin? And, uh, you know, when, shit, when is it going to end? So that's all I have for now. Thanks so much for listening. It's going to be interesting for me to see what you see right now because I have no clue what I look like holding this camera and positioning it in the way that it's positioned. Is it too high? Is it too low? Is it too close? Is it too far? You know, I have no clue of what this looks like. Which way are my locks going? <laughs> <laughs> right now because they uh, tend to do what they need to do when they need to do it and for the most part I work to allow that to happen there are times when I have to control and contain them when I am going out to uh, function on a societal level lived experience and uh, you know so at any rate let's, let's see what it looks like okay peace